I'm here to support Joe and uh, help him uh, with uh, the situation that he's going through uh, for un un unlawful evictions and uh, and to do my best as a whole group here with the Take Back the Land. Well, actually, I had a situation with the bank in uh, 2009. I got behind just being the only source of income, and um, I initially called the bank, and they were willing to set up a plan for me, but the plan consisted of me coming up with a certain amount of money, which I didn't have. So that just basically triggered the triggered snowball effect from one month after the other. The fees get greater, and I, if I had the money the prior month, what makes them have more money the following month? So. This is the dilemma that I'm in, so it make it look as though that I'm a delinquent payer and it's not the case. I've been willing, really doing everything humanly possible to try to fight to stay in my home and getting door slammed at every path. So, so this is the position I'm in right now. Well, we've got a um, eviction blockade going on here, 394 Webster Avenue, Rochester, New York. Um, Banks got bailed out. We got sold out. Banks got bailed out. We got sold out. Banks got bailed out. We got sold out. I'm a student from Brockport helping save this man's house. I know what it's like to be evicted. I'm facing eviction myself. And he owns that house. He's been there 23 years. There's no reason why he can't keep his house for his children. I'm just here to support uh, you know, my community uh, and an issue that it's important for all of us. Um, banks are taking advantage of, uh, of, of these situations and I think we uh, shouldn't allow this and we need to come together and, and show solidarity. Well, these people are here today in support of me, man, and it's a great thing, you know. And I mean, it's it's unbelievable, man. I mean, look, look at this, look at this, man. And you can't, you can't ask for more. I mean, I'm lost for words, man. Fight. Housing is a human right. Fight, 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 fight. Housing is a human right. Fight, fight, fight. Hey. We're taking over. No evictions, no foreclosures. Hey, we're taking over. No evictions, no foreclosures. Uh, we are out here because housing is a human right. And the Woods family, they deserve to be here. They've been here for 23 years. And it's unfair and ridiculous that the banks are doing this to him. And not just to him, but to everybody. So we are here to make a stand. Take with land mean he gonna get us he gonna get us he gonna get us um house with back, you know, be back with his family like he's like he's supposed to be, you know. I'm gonna fight to the end, you know, because I, I want to see him with his house. Cause it ain't he the only one. It's a lot of people out here all over the United States in the same situation, you know. But we just don't see it. But they out there with the same problem also too, you know. Mid First Bank, uh, corporate bank out of um, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, has um, set their sights on um, Rochester, New York, in particular the Woods family, and they are trying to take them by force. Uh, they are trying to evict right, them from their I house. The they already foreclosed on it. Um, basically, this family's been here 23 years. They've been an anchor of the community. And, um, you know, they fell behind for a little bit. And um, they solved their financial problems. They're uh, willing and able to pay. You know, they got enough income on a monthly basis. And MidFirst Bank has said, no way. We don't want your money. We want your house. When they send the money, they send it back. Uh, now they're trying to say, well, we'll only work with you if you pay us $90,000 in cash. When um, this house is worth $28,000. Foreclose on the banks! Evictions, no thanks! Foreclose on the banks! Evictions, no thanks! Foreclose on the banks! Evictions, no thanks! Foreclose on the banks! Yeah! Foreclose on the bank. Yeah, I don't like what they're doing. And if, it, if anybody should be put in jail, it should be the bank. And I figure if the government, if the government can slip through loopholes, then this should be a loophole that my brother should slip through. I think all banks that's doing this kind of work should, should be charged under federal, under, under, under federal, under, under federal law. And I don't like this. Yeah, this is an eviction defense, and I'm here to let the bank know I'm standing up tall for mine, man. So I don't plan on giving up without. Even more of a fight. There's still a lot of bite left in me, man. Take back the land. Take back the land. Take back the land.
Right now we're going to be up for a good cause, for justice, for housing, for equality. If we're, we're just the banks that are taking property. It's unfair, it's unjust that the poor have to suffer while the rich be set free and get all the amenities that we need. I am chanting and getting cars to honk. Honk your horn! For housing is a human right, basic needs, physiological needs, food, shelter, warmth, our genie, whatever. People are entitled to these. These are not a commodity. This is not a luxury. These are needs. People need these things to sustain their life for their families and their children. What I want to say is, I want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart, man, for coming out and supporting me because you guys really lifted my morale. I'm serious. It's a good thing, so. I'm glad you guys came out today. Actually, when I was a sophomore in college, my mom got evicted, foreclosed on, so she had to move out, and it was a really tough time, so I don't think anyone should have to go through that. It's terrible. What needs to happen is the bank, federal government, FHA needs to change their tune, because um, we're not changing our tune. We're here. We're staying here. We're going to resist. Um, I'm willing to risk arrest. Other people here are willing to risk arrest. This is a moral imperative. That, that they stay in their home, our community stay intact. Um, so we're gonna be here as long as necessary. We're gonna be doing round the clock eviction watches. Um, we're gonna have people here saying that it stops right here. The foreclosure machine isn't going any further. Yes, we're family, don't give up. We're here to support you. We're, we're going to go the distance, whatever it takes. We're here to help you. Thanks, suck.